Check, check, check. Great. All right, I'm going to do the intro first to the camera. <laughs> staff where we yell at each other across the room through megaphones because, well, just because at this point. My guest today is Brian West. How's it going, Brian? Great, Mick. Thank you for having me here today. You're welcome. Do you have any idea what's about to happen? None. All right, good. Well, I'm going to ask you some questions. What's your title? Well, I'm officially known as a teaching artist for the time being. And if I was four years old, how would you explain your job to me? I would tell a four-year-old, an imaginary four-year-old Nick Sullivan, that what I do is a combination of storytelling, acting, amateur history, and I should say camp counselor, especially when you have school groups and campers here. Yeah, you've been here for a long time. How long have you worked at the Fraser? Uh, going on 14 years. It'll be 14 years in the fall. Wow. Your tenure at the Fraser Museum can almost drive a car. Hey, uh, have you ever seen Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? What? Okay. If you, you know, there's a mall scene. If you could go to the mall with anyone from the past, who would it be? And what would you do at the mall with that person? This is going to be a silly answer, but... That's great. That's I think great. it would be Jesus. I know I sound, I know some people have said that before, but it'd be interesting to see um, how going to the mall with Jesus would be. That would be a very, very enlightening experience, would it not? It could be. It could be either, you know, the, you know, feeding the 5,000 people with, you know, two loaves of bread and five fishes, or it could be like the temple changers, uh, the money changers at the temple. It would be very ruckus, very rowdy. I don't know which one. It would be interesting to find out which one it is at the mall with Jesus. At the it, mall with Jesus. It would be a really interesting thing to see. Okay, um, I'm going to say a word, and I want you to, as immediately as possible, you don't have to feel too much pressure, uh, I want you to say the Kentucky figure that you think of. Okay. Tornado. Pat Day. Blazer. Denny Crump. Yeah. Canoe. Tory Murdoch. Cheese. Uh, Russ Smith. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, last one. Pickles. Gerstle. Or Gerstles. How do you pronounce it? Gerstles? Yeah. Yeah, like the... Wait. Wait, are you thinking of Jenny's? Maybe I said Jenny. Like the Prickle Pickles? When they... Okay, kids, back when things were less politically correct, they had a little person wearing a diaper doing that commercial for Jenny's. Right, I forgot. Oh, I good! Could. Oh, good. Yeah, they had freckled pickles, didn't they? They did. Okay, uh, hey, did you have a favorite stuffed animal as a child? Well, my mom actually bought me a black puppet, a black puppet bear. So it was basically a black bear that had a little pouch around his back where you put a hand inside of it and move the arms and the legs, and it would just be a puppet. Now, the mouth didn't move. But as like a three-year-old, I'm so mesmerized by the fact that I can move everything else that it didn't matter. Did it have a name? I know, I didn't, I didn't give my, my toys a name. Okay, how many movies do you think you've seen in your lifetime? As many as there are stars in the sky, Nick. I believe that. Brian West is a resident movie aficionado. Uh, hey, um, is there a movie that you've never seen in the theater that you would like to see? I would like to see, well... Okay, this is kind of controversial. Now, I'm a movie fan, a big movie buff. So, if I were to really have my druthers, I would like to see something by D.W. Griffith. Now, D.W. Griffith has some offensive stuff, but if I would have to take see a movie of his, I'd like to either see Intolerance or maybe Birth of a Nation. Now, Birth of a Nation is very controversial because it depicted African Americans in a very, very poor light. That being said, though, I would like to kind of see what it was like in 1915 to see this controversial movie for the first time. So I think if I were to see a movie like Birth of a Nation, I would like to see that in the theater. But it won't happen because it's so controversial that people don't want to show it at a movie house because it'll make people upset. And that's, that's fair. That's legitimate. 
Yeah, that's, a, that's an incredible answer, Brian. Um, if I had one single minute to see the Fraser or something in the Fraser, what would you show me? I would show you our cool Kentucky exhibit and take you through our competitive Kentucky section and tell you about the Kentucky Colonels, the 1975 world champions of professional basketball. The champion Kentucky Colonels! We are the champions of the world! You're getting ahead of me because my next question is the Frasers having a karaoke party. What's Brian West going to sing? And I know Brian West sing some karaoke because I've seen it. Well, it's going to be a wide selection, so I mean, are we happy? Is it with kids or without kids? Uh, no, no, no kids, but you know, PC for the audience. Okay, so if I'm going to sing one without kids, it might be either Boys to Men. Um, uh, Wait, or, would you, what, what, what Boys to Men? Uh, maybe up until the end of the row, maybe a little bit later. Um, well, no, I'll, I'll keep that up to myself. However, I could sing this one. Um, there's a song by, um, oh, I think his name is Ray Perkins. Oh, uh, I forget his name. Um, Lay your head on my pillow. Hold your warm, tender body close to mine. So that's, that's kind of straddling the line between you know, PC, PG and kids, but anyway. Yeah, that's PG-13. That's probably okay. Right. Okay, last question. Is there a story from history that you just love to tell? You know, when we had our Heisman Trophy display here with uh, Paul Morning's 1956 Heisman Trophy, I love to tell a story about how he was able to collect four Heisman Trophies. Uh, Paul Morning was an all-star athlete at every level of his professional, um, his playing career, I should say, but he also was a gambling man. He knew how to play the winning hand. So much so that he was able to acquire four Heisman trophies. So I love telling that story. But that's the one right here. So here, here's one story I'd like to tell. I like to talk about, hey, hey, you know, hey. Um, Roll, I do like to talk about our um, Spirit of Kentucky exhibit. Um, that really talks about how Kentucky and bourbon kind of go hand in hand. How the development of the land here in Kentucky went with the development of the bourbon industry itself. And I also like to talk about how African Americans played a pivotal role in that happening as well. So that's a story I'd like to share. I love sharing. Yeah, that's awesome. And you do an unfiltered truth performance kind of built around that, right? It's I available do. on Saturdays for people who would like to you, book that. You're absolutely right. Uh, it's, um, it's a full-fledged experience, uh, a guest engagement tour slash tasting. Um, and you, you, you get all the bases covered here when you do that uh, engagement. It is available on Saturdays. You can go to our uh, FraserMuseum.org slash unfiltered uh, truth to uh, make a reservation if you like for a particular Saturday. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us for Megaphone Monday, Brian. You're, you're welcome, Mick. And Thanks. You're welcome. Hey, Thanks for yelling at me across the room. Hey, happy to be a service. You know, we need to keep this going. Okay, if you want to keep that megaphone and yell at anyone else, be my guest. Until next time, we'll see you next Megaphone Monday. My <laughs>